Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where we are in the midst of yet another Monday. And to help ease the blow, in case anyone is having a bad case of the Mondays out there, I thought, let's have two videos today. Let's do two uploads. Let's do a uh, an appetizer in a main course, kind of like we did on Friday. Um, and we may have that a couple more times this week. I'm trying to uh, knock down my list of content because I got a lot of stuff to bring you guys. Some of it I think is more anticipated, more wanted than others, uh, but it's all stuff I want to bring to you guys. So I thought, you know what, we'll do this appetizer and main course format uh, maybe a couple more days this week. Uh, first up here, we are taking a look at a new offering from Remet, and then stay tuned because after this, later tonight, uh, we are going to be reviewing the first knife I bought in 2024 and I was super stinking excited to get it. And uh, you will find out in that review if I'm still super stinking excited to own it. So we'll find out very quick about that. But first, let's take a look at this. Coming out of Remet. Do you guys remember this knife right here? This is the Remet Rhinoceros. Uh, debuted last year. Uh, the first original version of it I really liked. And this happens to be it. Uh, really nice button lock. I think it was coming in around like 50 or 55 bucks, I think. Uh, but yeah, 14C28N steel, really good looking design. Probably one of, if not the best looking designs to come out of Remet, in my opinion. Nice ergos, nice blade, nice shape, nice everything. Smooth action, uh, really good stuff. So then after this, they decided, you know what? There are some people that are getting tired of the button locks, which I can't say that personally for myself. I still enjoy a good button lock, but not everybody. Some people are really wanting to get back into the frame locks, liner locks, uh, you know, just more traditional styles of locks. So what Remet did was they brought out this guy right here. There's nothing in this box. That, that was uh, Actually, this was in this box. So we'll get this out of the way now. Uh, this here is the liner lock version of the Remet Rhinoceros, and it is available now. And as you can see, uh, it's really the exact same knife. The only difference is a flipper and a liner lock instead of basically, I mean, yeah, the front flipper's actually gone too on this. So I guess there's more than one difference. So as you can see, the front flipper's gone uh, as well as the button, of course. Um, so we go from a button lock and front flipper with thumb studs to a liner lock and regular flipper with thumb studs. I gotta say, I don't hate that. Um, there is something that I don't really love about this. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but first, before I go any further into this review, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. And we actually have two of these liner locks to take a look at. Uh, they're basically the exact, they are the exact same thing from one another and what you're seeing right here. And like I said, there's really not a huge difference at all between the button lock version. The only difference is the lock type and you're losing the front flipper. Um, so if you like the rhinoceros and didn't want a button lock, well, here's an option. Now, the one thing that is probably worth noting, the big difference between these two and the button lock rhinoceros is the button lock rhinoceros is using 14C28N steel. That's It's on here somewhere, I promise you. I just can't find it right now. Uh, but, ah, there we go. Yeah, this is 14C28N. I, I feel like it's safe to say that is like almost everyone's preferred budget steel. Um, unfortunately, these ones come in D2. Now, for the price, I'm, I don't really have a big fit. I just, I don't know why they would go from 14C, 28N to D2. Um, but it's kind of is what it is. These guys are coming in at 45 bucks. So, a, you know, a pretty significant difference. And I may have a discount code there too. I got to go back and check my messages. I've been flooded with information lately and it's been hard to keep everything separated. So I have everything separated via an email. Um, but I may have like a 5 or 10% discount, probably a 10% discount code for this. If I do, I'll have it in the description of this video with, of course, a link to take you to these guys. Um, but I will say, I, I really do like the liner lock version. I'm not going to give this the full shebang review because this is, like I said, it's, it's very much like the original Rhinoceros, which I did like a lot. They did have another version, a, an updated version of the Rhinoceros with a different button lock. I didn't love that one, but like I said, this is one of the original ones, and I do like this a lot. But I still, and I've said this before, I still love a really good liner lock. And in terms of action... This is a pretty good action. I mean, this is, I, I can't say this is like Civivi or Vostead or like, this isn't like the best ever budget lock or budget knife action, but it's, you know, it, it for what you're paying for 45 bucks, it's good action. Smooth, nice detent. Uh, the thumb studs work really well. 
so yeah, it's hard to really knock it too hard for 45 bucks. Um, the liner is not recessed, but it won't be giving you any real problems because it's actually a pretty thin liner. In and out of the pocket, just fine. Ergos are good. You do, I will say, I do kind of miss that flipper tab being there kind of takes away from this grip, which I do prefer the Ergos on this version more than this version. Um, but I don't hate it. You know, it's just, it's different. It's, it's typical liner lock and flipper. You guys know how that is. So the flipper is going to take away. You do kind of have a choilish area up here and it's not bad, but you know, it's one of those things to where it's not a finger guard by any means. So you got to be careful. Uh, but it does have kind of that little choke up area. It's just not nearly as comfortable as the button lock version, in my opinion. Uh, but that's really it in terms of differences and, and all that. There's really nothing else to point out on this. D2 steel instead of 14C and then the button lock's gone and you have a liner lock. And between these two, I mean, I can't say I've handled them all, but I've handled two of them, and they're both pretty consistent. So that says something. And again, for 45 bucks, I think it's a fair, fair offering. Um, I don't think by any means you're getting ripped off. Um, wish it was 14C28N, but it's not. So you just have to just deal with it. Uh, but yeah, middle finger flick is also really nice. So yeah, if you like the rhinoceros and you were waiting for a liner lock version, here it is. Wait no further. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this one, guys. I really don't have a whole lot else to say. Um, decent little offering from Remet. Um, don't have any issues with it. And <clears throat> I do think it fills the need of some people because I do think there are people out there that were kind of getting tired of button locks. So I will say, though, whew, pretty good action on this guy. Pretty good action. But then again, there's also pretty good action on that right there so let me know what you guys what do you prefer do you prefer the button lock or do you prefer the liner lock are you one of those people that are kind of tired of the button locks and want to see more liner locks i think there's starting to be more of a divide there i think some people still love the button locks and some people who are just kind of over them and they're moving on and they're like you know what give me back the good old liner locks and frame locks and all that good stuff uh let me know your thoughts on the debate between the button lock versus all the other locks. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little one. I have another good one for you coming up later, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and until that one, I'm out.